Hi guys, welcome to this review about the airless pump bottle from JT Bottle. I'm especially comparing it with the one which I already had from Long Way and size is pretty much the same. I think they, be, they both uh, can contain up to 30 milliliters. They are both airless, uh, similar, yeah, similar in size, but the thing is the uh, JT LS pump are much more expensive and the reason is especially uh, because it is protected against uh, sunlight or any kind of light. If So if your uh, things which you are using is light sensitive, especially like colloidal silver or other things which I have here, then you are definitely better off with something like that because this thing you have to always protect inside drawer or um, anything else you can't leave it on the uh, yeah on the desk or whatsoever so I'm trying this now and comparing it with, with the long way so I had to see how it turns out so the long way was pretty easy to use but it even came with instructions so this thing doesn't come with instructions so let's see uh, it looks like we can just pull it off and this the cap is also to screw but the yeah the opening is a little bit more narrow so i think i'm definitely going to fill it from the bottom so I hope I don't break it. It's a little bit tough to pull. And yeah, I, I guess I need something to pull it out. Um, yeah, looks like could be a little bit difficult to pull this thing down. So you need something to really push the thing down from the inside. Of course, you have to make sure that you use something which is really clean also make sure your hands are perfectly clean and so you are not contaminating the uh, whatsoever you want to put into this bottle so now i'm going to put on the top again and try to fill it from here which seems to be much easier but i have to be careful that i don't uh, trap too much air underneath otherwise it will have a lot of holes like a swiss cheese so looks like with the gel it's more or less working it's not definitely not super easy so in case it gets stuck i have to yeah okay shake it down a little bit so works more or less takes a little bit of time i don't want to waste your time so i pause the thing and let you know again when uh, it's filled up yeah when it's full so i filled the whole thing up in about two or three minutes so it was definitely not a big job it was not super easy but you get used to it and next time maybe it works even a little bit uh, yeah, quicker. So what's definitely important is not to overfill because you still have to add this cap and that could be a little bit the challenge now because I mean, I mean it's totally airtight and when I push it down so it's a little bit difficult to do that. Um, so I think I have to do it that way that I um, yeah do the thing here I mean the, uh, yeah you see that there's a hole which uh, is to uh, let air inside so I filled actually I think a little bit too much but anyway no, no matter what, what you do it will be hard to push it down because it really creates some kind of vacuum um yeah i'm trying now at the same time maybe i start a little bit pumping okay yeah that works okay just put on this cap 
at the bottom and then start pumping and of course you will waste a little bit of whatever in your um, yeah bottle but um, yeah hope you can use it anyway but now it's ready and the cap is more or less on I don't know why it's not 100% maybe it ha there's something uh, I will check that so there's actually nothing I just checked there is really nothing there is uh, like no opening or nothing you just have to push really hard and then it will sit tight yeah very tight and the cap uh, fits easily and now you have the thing filled uh, with 30 milliliters of this nice uh, colloidal silver gel but it's now light protected and not exposed to light like here on of course unfortunately it will be a little bit hard to find out how much is in there when it's totally full you can feel the weight but when it's getting empty it's hard probably hard to find out how much we have inside i'll check against the light hold on a second so i was checking even against a really strong super strong light and i haven't seen anything no shade no nothing so the good thing is yeah there is no light going through the bad thing is it's no light going through here <laughs> you know what i mean um yeah it's it's an advantage to see how much it's left and how it looks and in which condition it is and all the things you have full control compared to this one which you yeah you just have to trust and see and maybe check the weight and i mean you could put uh, it put it on uh, scales and then uh, yeah compare it with the original one or write write it down how much it is empty so you can figure out how much it is or you just buy a second one or just use the second one with the same thing and if you have to go uh, on travel then yeah you just take the full one instead of yeah just guessing uh, if you have enough of this so yeah so it's not as easy but it is definitely super super light proof i can definitely uh, confirm that um, yeah that's a good thing so to have something like that uh, I mean they could make it like this I don't understand why they don't use this material so it doesn't make any sense to have something uh, which looks like light can drew go through but it doesn't so but it looks good I mean I know a lot of uh cosmetics uh things are like this it's a nice design and it works so yeah so at least for the moment it's good it it is exactly uh how i uh, wanted to have it and i will use it now for some time like i was using this and uh, yeah i made a video at the beginning and now at the end already about that if you want to see the video about my experience there's another video about that on my channel and i will do of course after a couple of months a, a long term review about this thing so to let you know uh, how it worked on the long term especially compared to the long way so that's the jt bottles a little bit more expensive but of course uh yeah you have the extra protection against the light so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time